Okay. I gotta get on my other phone here, make sure it's turned down. And let's see. Yeah, I want TikTok on mute. Thank you very much. There we go. And I did I, I did the same thing I did last week. Usually I push the live button at 7.29 while well, I was sitting here. Hi, Taz and Harley. Hi there. And hi, Sammy, who just uh, sent me a message. Hi, user 675944 and so on. Um, hi, Diane. Hi. <laughs> Tonight will be a little calmer because I realized last week, not only did I have the giddiness, <laughs> not only did I have the giddiness, but I also put the wrong oil in my diffuser. <laughs> Hi, Johnny. Hi, Johnny. Um, yeah, I put the citrus, which is the energy. Didn't need the energy. I needed the calming. No, I got the right oil in it tonight. <laughs> so I, I didn't need any extra boost, especially last week. I, I'm calmer this week, too. Not just that. I, I'm a little wound up because I'm... Hi, Patsy, Holiday, and Valley Ma Oh, there's Shelly. Hi, Shelly. Trip is still on. Um, My phone is doing this thing where it's like, zooming in and out every time I move my hands up toward the screen. Yeah. It's funny because I haven't, I've seen that on there, but I've never noticed it in the live replay. So I don't know if you guys see it or not. Hi. Yeah, I can see it down here. So I'll try not to put my hands up close to the screen or lean toward the screen. Hello there, Pam. Oh, you're doing your birthday song on Tuesday. I will look for that. I will send it to me, Pam. Pam, when you do your birthday song, yeah, that's going to drive me nuts. It's it's zooming in and out. Um, oh, I may not have enough light. That may be the issue. Let's let's give us some more light. See if that helps. Because it, it was a little dark. I didn't even think about that. Yep, that seems to have fixed it. Now I get it. It's trying to adapt to the, it's trying to correct for the light. So, glad I figured that out. Okay, Diane. That okay, 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 <laughs> okay. Yeah, Pam, send that to me when you make that. I wondered what caused that to happen. Sometimes it's low light, but um, hi, Claudio. So glad to see you, Diane. I've had, I've had a good week. I've been sleeping more, I can tell you that, but unfortunately I'm sleeping during the day instead of the night. Yesterday I slept, uh, but I didn't go to sleep till probably about two o'clock and slept till 7 p.m. Today, I don't remember what time I went to sleep and I slept till four o'clock this afternoon. But um, I did, did figure out why I'm sleeping more well, I don't know. It's probably a couple of months ago that I made the rule that I wasn't, because I usually drink Highland, Cameron's Highlander Grog Coffee, which is a mild blend that I order from Amazon. Well, I decided since I have a whole refrigerator shelf full of coffee that I was going to drink some of that before I ordered more coffee and just to clear out the refrigerator shelf. Well, I was drinking whole bean coffee, which, you know, was like rocket fuel, and I was making it weaker. Didn't matter. And I didn't even think about that that's what was causing me to not sleep. I wasn't drinking enough. I did have heart palpitations a few times, but, you know, I didn't think that's what it was. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Pam, will you send me a DM and let me know that so that I can make sure I do that for you on Tuesday, okay? 
send me a DM and tell me the song. I, I don't remember what the song was, and I apologize for that. But I do not remember what the song was. DM it to me and remind me that I'm supposed to do it for you on Tuesday for your birthday. Okay, do you mind doing that for me? Thank you very much. I, the song, our song. Yeah, I know that song. You're talking about the, no, that's your song. Okay, okay. I, I will tell me who it's by because I, I can't think of that song right off the top of my head. Uh, no, Tomcat, I am not drinking. This is how I am all the time. <laughs> uh, people say that all the time, that I act like I'm tipsy. I, t t Taylor Swift. Got it. Got it. Got it. I got that part, Pam. But I would still put that in the DM, because between now and Tuesday, yeah, try to, please DM me that. But, um, cause I know we're friends, so you can DM me. Um, thank you, Pam. Thank you. I'm happy to do that for you. Hello there, Thomas, the cigar curator. Um, but what was I talking about? I have no idea. But, it, oh, anyway, I got... I depleted that coffee supply enough that, you know, the shelf wasn't completely full. So I ordered some more Highlander Grog and started drinking that, I think, Tuesday morning, because I'm pretty sure it came Monday. Hello there, Anita. Good to see you. I'm sorry, what, where am I getting Anita? Annette. I do know an Anita, but <laughs> it is a tasty cup. But anyway, I started drinking my Highlander Grog again Tuesday morning, and I've been sleeping a lot, you know, more than I usually do. Just unfortunately, it's during the day. And, but yeah. Can't drink the rocket fuel. Cannot drink that, because if I do... Hello... Okay, okay, Smurfette. Smurfette is is uh, if you want to put that information in a in a comment, Smurfette. Smurfette is on Owl. Am I, I think I'm saying that right. And um, she she's doing something really incredible. She can actually take your calls on there to help you with things. Yeah, d yeah. D but do you want to put that, write that in the comments, Smurfette? Hi, Jess. Thank you for joining us. There's Jessica. I just got off the phone with her, as a matter of fact. Hello, sweetheart. I am a little wound up, but I, I did put the calming oil, so that, that should take effect at some point. <laughs> and I'm not drinking the rocket fuel coffee. Okay. Yeah, whatever you can put in the comments, whatever it'll let you put in the comments, Smurfette, if you want to do that. But yeah, you can you can um, go to Smurfette's live. Smurfette, are you doing your live tonight? You're doing your Thursday night live tonight, right? Um, Smurfette does a live, an affirmation live every Monday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then she does a Thursday night live. I don't think she, she doesn't call that an affirmation live. I never get to go to it. And I have been making it to her Monday night live in recently, which I'm proud of because I had been AWOL for so long. Hi, Becky. Hi, Becky. But you can go. I highly recommend Smurfette's Monday night. Well, and I can't speak to her Thursday night, but I'm sure it's just as great. But her Monday Night Live is so soothing. It, 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 that's why I hate that I miss it when I miss it because it really, the affirmation, hello, ganked. Hello there, ganked. I think I followed you back, ganked. I can't remember if I did or not. I have plenty of follows now. Um, apparently, well, I went through the entire list of 10,000. I don't, it took me a couple of hours and unfollowed people who weren't following me anymore to clear up space. And then TikTok has apparently banned a bunch of bots or 
thrown off a bunch of bots or something because I have like a hundred follows. <laughs> Hi, K Bonds and Nick, South Carolina. I'm assuming that's what the SC stands for. But anyway, there we go. Smurfette. Now, I, I will tell anybody that's interested in going and checking Smurf out, anybody that has Owl or wants to download the app and goes and checks Smurfette out there, um, you will have to copy and paste that link because TikTok won't allow you to share actual links. So just copy and pa copy that and paste it into your uh, web browser. Hi, Jonathan. Hi there. Thank you for sending me fire. Um, oh, there you go. And use, use Smurfette's code SMURF to get a $10 calling card that you can call people on OWL. Because I'm not going to try to explain OWL Smurfette because I, I, I don't know the app. And But go to Smurfette's Live. That's if you're interested in that. Hi, Slow Ride. Thank you for joining us. That was one of my favorite songs. I actually saw them. Who, who is that song? Oh, my God. I can't even think who did the song Slow Ride. And I saw them in, in concert, like, in much later years at um, the Columbus Zoo, actually. <laughs> They had concerts at the Columbus Day. Hi, Keith Gamble. Thank you for sending me gifts. I see you got the gifter badge. But yeah, check out a few. If you, and Diane just sent me a message. Diane said she would probably have to go. Hi, Texas Tinker. Hello there. And I have things written down. Now, one of my friends from high school, I'm going to turn this light up just a little bit more because it still keeps kind of doing that flip thing on me. Fog hat. Thank you. Thank you, Michael Holman. Jeez, that's bad. That is so bad that I would forget fog hat. I need to do that song slow right. I love that song. Love it. I think I, hi, Dominic and Eric. But uh, yeah, I ran out of index cards. <laughs> I was searching for my index cards because I reorganized a bunch of my stuff, like, you know, office supplies and paper and drawing paper and, you know, drawing supplies and all of that stuff. And I, 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 I don't know, you know, the word organize would imply that now I should be able to find it. Yeah, I'm not able to find my stuff. Hello there, Tiger Joe. Hello there. Hi, Phyllis. Hi, Country Strong. And science is interesting. Science is interesting. Absolutely. Hi, Mary and Bruce and Life in the Fast Lane and uh, Rose something and DCOP5 and Anthony. Thank you guys for joining us and Jeremy. And, um, but yeah, I ran out of index cards because I was searching for them and I'm like, I know I would not have moved them somewhere other than where all of that stuff is. And I'm like, you know what? I must have just used them all up, which I guess I have. Hello there. And I just missed somebody that popped in. And user 887. Hi, Maul Jr. Hi there. That's not my junior. <laughs> Hi, John McClure. And Dad Jokes. Hi, Dad Jokes. Hello there, Maul Jr. Hello there, John McClure. Or, yeah, John McClure. Oh, you, you moved from North Carolina to Florida? Hi, Tony. I'm doing just fine. I'm, I'm doing pretty good. I've had sleep. That's always good because I, I have some trouble with that. But, yeah, I found out that uh, I was drinking the wrong coffee. But I do have a bunch of things that I wrote down here in the last minute. Uh, the coffee was one of them. Um, yeah, I, I'm leaving Saturday. Oh, thank you, John McClure. Thank you. And Lance Brown. Thank you. And Notorious T and Scott McAllister and Big Steve. 
and Susan Marie. That's a beautiful name and Notorious T. Thank you for joining us. And um, I got my daughter Jessica here with me tonight. Yeah, I cannot drink. Well, I have heart issues. If I drink the, and I have a lot of coffee beans here. And, um, cause I do like that coffee once in a while. And I always have every kind of coffee you could think of on hand. And, um, no, I am not a robot. Did, did they just go away, Shelly? <laughs> I don't know if Diane's still here. Hi, Rick. Hi, Rick Chesney. Um, yeah, but if I drink that fresh ground coffee, it is like rocket fuel. And as you can tell, I don't really need it. Oh, okay. Bye-bye. Oh, you are still here, but you're leaving now. Okay. Love you, Diane. Thank you so much. And remember, I'll be live from Ohio next week, and I hope I get to see Shelly. We're going to work that out once I get there. Hi, Reels. I did have a nickname. Yeah, I love my coffee, too. Hi. That's one thing that I do not want to have to give up, and if as long as I keep it to a minimum, maybe I won't have to give it up. I am from Kentucky, John McClure. I am from Kentucky, and I am in Kentucky. Hi, Sydney McLean. And I want to kind of keep myself a little bit calm. Yeah, I thought so. I want to keep myself a little bit calm because I don't want to wear myself out. I got a lot to do when I get off of here tonight. Oh, I don't have on sandals. They're actually like little ballet shoes. I, I like the non-shoe shoes. <laughs> Hi, Jose V and Carl Doss 25. And yeah, Kentucky is beautiful. It is a beautiful, it is a beautiful state. All the rolling hills and yeah, beautiful farmland. It is beautiful. Hi, Yub2215 and the bluegrass. <laughs> Hi, Doug Cole, and no one, seven. Thank you guys for joining us. And R. Carter, and Brett Brown, and Todd. I don't know if that's one of the Todds that I know. I know a couple of Todds. Hi, Raymond, and user 2032, and better call B. Hall. <laughs> that's a great name. That rolls right off your tongue, doesn't it? Hi, Matthew. Hi, Matthew Zuberbeyer and Randy Furr. Special lawnmower for the bluegrass. I would know. I've never mowed the lawn. <laughs> I would not know. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I have mowed the lawn. I tried to mow the lawn. I mowed like a couple of strips in the lawn at least one time that I remember. <laughs> Hello there, Alejandro. Hello there. Hi, Carlton Stroud. <laughs> yeah, I, the, I don't know that I've ever, I can't remember. If I've ever mowed a, a lawn, I don't remember it. Hi, team of the 90s. I have always had a reputation for not being good with moving things. I mean, hi, Taryn. Hi, Taryn. Is that, is that, our Taryn? I, I didn't see it quick soon enough to be able to tell if that's our Taryn. And it's the only Taryn that I know. If it's our Taryn or if it's not our Taryn. Hello, Taryn. Hi, Mr. Mm, what does that say? Mr. Mm, Mine Mile? Mr. Mine Mile? I, I don't know. That's what I'm getting out of it. <laughs> I'm not good with the names. Nine Mile. Oh, Nine Mile? What? What? I, I, well, it's gone now. I don't see it. Nine Mile. Hi, Mr. Nine Mile. Is that like Eight Mile? Um, no, I'm not familiar with Nine Mile. I just know Eight Mile, the movie. <laughs> um, hi, Doug Dieter. But I'm going to look at my list here because I'm trying to get through it. And I'm trying to see if there's anything I want to make sure I tell 
Diane, which I already did. Um, oh, I got my camera spinner, Diane. That thing I ordered from Timu that I never got before because it's like 50 or $60. Can you guys see that? I got it on Timu for $19. And, um, you know, you put your, you put it between your phone and your tripod. And what it does is it follows you. So it's like having a cameraman. I, ha I haven't, I've had it for a week and I haven't used it yet because I got it. I don't remember what day I got it, but I haven't used it yet because I want to take it over to my Aunt Iva's. Hi, Trudy. And I haven't been over to my Aunt Iva's. To, what am I going to use it for in the house so you can spin around the house? I actually thought about putting it on the, the phone while I was doing my live and then I could walk around. I thought, well, what's the point of that? That's just kind of distracting. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to do a video. I'm going to play with it over at my Aunt Iva's whenever I get an opportunity to go over there when it's not hot enough to set me on fire. Oh, you didn't miss a thing. You didn't miss a thing, Trudy. I, I don't, I mean, talking about my coffee and how I figured out what was keeping me awake. Because the last couple of days in junior, junior is always saying to me, go to sleep. Get some sleep. Go to sleep. And... Hi, Bill Whitcock, and I, I told him, I, I swear, I've been sleeping more. It's just I'm not sleeping at night. I'm sleeping during the day. And hi, Douglas and Jack Fullman. And I, I'm fairly certain that Junior will not be here because Thursday nights when school starts, he, he has to pick his daughter up at um, band practice, and he got to come last week only because... Um, only because they got out early. That's the only reason he made it last week. So maybe that'll happen again and we'll get to see him. <laughs> Hi, storage guy. Hello there. I, I don't know what HL pre-LAT means. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> None whatsoever. <laughs> so, true, uh, or, uh, Diane, you and Shelly decipher that, and if it's something ugly, well, you know what to do. Hi, Ben247. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. And, um, yeah, I I feel really good, and I'm glad, because I, I kid you not, Diane, I do not even have clothes laid out yet to wear. Hi, Dennis Miller. Hello there, Trudy. Thank you. Um... I don't even have my clothes laid out, but you know, I'm not really going anywhere. All I'm doing, I'm mostly, all I really need are pajamas because that's what I'll be doing. I'll be home. Oh, it means pretty lady. I tried. See, Trudy, I never, I thought, why is she calling me pretty lady? Hi, South Carolina. Bill Whitcott. Thank you. Will Whitlock. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. But yeah, I thought, why is she saying that? <laughs> okay. See, I always confuse it. When somebody translates for me, I confuse it. But anyway, thank you. Hi, Snake. Hi, Michael Lyons. Thank you, Trudy. <laughs> I, I, I never get these things. Well, that was nice. Thank you. Whoever said pretty lady. Hi, Darlene Bitter. Thank you for joining us. But I, I've got nothing. Got nothing laid out, but again, um, not that important clothes that I wear when I'm there because the boys will go to uh, Landon, Peyton and Carter will go off to school. Landon will go to work. So I'll be there by myself all day so I can, I can do my, Lexus is going to have her bed ready. I am going to take my own pillows because I have to kind of sit up. I need big pillows. And um, so I will get to have Alexis's bed. And usually I sleep on the sofa in the living room with the dogs. <laughs> they sleep in their cage or crate or whatever you call that. There's a cage. Um, but yeah. Um, hi, William. Corinne Cole. <laughs> but anyway... So I don't really have to do anything. I don't even have to cook for them. I don't have to 
do anything. And I told you guys last week that I got ribs, you know, spare ribs at Aldi for $2.49 a pound and I bought two racks. Well, I decided to go ahead and cook both racks. And um, so I cooked two racks of ribs. They were not particularly big racks. And that's what I ate for breakfast, lunch, and dinner for three days. <laughs> All I ate. I'm um, trying to think, when did I make made those Saturday? No, actually, yeah, I made them Saturday. I actually put them on to boil and took care of that part of it after my live Thursday night. And then I put them in the refrigerator, marinated them in the barbecue sauce until Saturday. And then I baked them, and then I cut them up, and I ate some, and then I put them in the refrigerator. In fact, I baked them at about 5 o'clock in the morning. So the first time I ate them was for breakfast. And I did eat all of them. I was going to give Zach half of them, but didn't do it. <laughs> And I did, I was supposed to, I do have an unusual relationship with food. I, I then, um, <laughs> oh, and speaking my, of my unusual relationship with food, I've only got three pounds to go, Diane. Remember, I wanted to lose 10 more pounds, just not because I really wanted to lose 10 more pounds, but because that, if I keep my weight down, it's less strain on my heart. And I wanted to take off 10 more pounds because when I was at that weight for a short time before my doctor wanted me to gain weight back, um, because when I had lost down to this before, my doc, my primary care doctor wasn't, he wanted me to put some weight back on. And I'm not, I don't, I'm not emaciated at this weight. I'd probably have to lose another 20 pounds to be emaciated. Um, but anyway, I put the weight back on and I just, and I've been trying for six months, but I keep, you know, not doing what I know I have to do to lose it. But now I'm, I've only got three pounds left and I'm bound and determined to get that three pounds off. I just stick to salmon and spinach yeah that would work for me crocodile that would actually work for me because i don't eat carbs that's my thing thank you trudy but yeah i do that just because that's the one thing i have control of i can't do much else for my heart issues i take my pills hello there krypton crypto punk from new york you've been here before because i remember your name Hi, Selvino Perez. Thank you for joining us. But yeah, I do that because the less weight I'm carrying, the less strain on my heart. I mean, I know I couldn't carry a 10-pound bag of something around with me all the time, and that's how I think of it. So getting that ex that another 10 pounds off does help. Yeah. Yeah, I love spinach. I like glory. I like glory spinach and glory collard greens and glory. I think there's one called, uh, it's a mix that's got kale and spinach and collard greens. I love glory. That is the best brand of canned, of canned greens. Thank you, crocodile. That good advice. <laughs> yeah. And I do eat a lot of spinach. I eat a lot of spinach. I don't eat a lot of salmon because I've never really cooked salmon. It's just not, I'm not a fish eater. Not that I don't ever eat fish. You know, I like fish in restaurants and my Uncle Walter's fish. That's the only place I eat fish other than like, you know, yellowtail or something like that. I, I will eat that once in a great while. And I used to, when I lived in Ohio, I'd eat the walleye. I love the walleye, but they always serve that breaded and fried. I've never had walleye any other way. Hi, Susan. Yeah, I eat nuts too. I absolutely eat nuts. I eat almonds. Almonds are what I eat. I will sing, and it's almost 8 o'clock, but I don't have a clue what I'm going to sing. What I'm going to do is go through my songs that are there. Because, I, like, I thought about singing, I got a good feeling. I can't sing that song. That song is, the cues are too 
tough to hit. I just don't. I could try it. I could try it, but it, it that I'm not going to. No, I'm not a singer. No, Crocodile. I am absolutely not a singer. I do lip syncing videos on TikTok. And what I do here on my live every Thursday night at 8 o'clock is I pick one of those songs and I sing it the way I do when I'm actually making the video. Because when I'm making my videos, I'm singing. It's just you don't hear that. And so that's what I do here. But no, I am certainly not a singer. But okay. Hi, Susan. Hi, Susan. Thank you. Hi, Seattle girl. Well, I'm going to pick a song here. Let me, let me go to my, see what I'm doing here. Let's see. Well, oh, there's what I need to do. Go back. Okay. There, I am not on the right. Okay. I will get to, uh, and Roll Cage Mary. I did that in my promo right now. Thursday Night Thunder's on. I just saw it. And um, Thursday Night Thunder with Roll Cage Mary and Zach Black and Grandpa Rufus and Barry Spears and a couple of other people. Um, Roll K if you go to my promo, Roll Cage Mary's link is at the bottom of it. If you want to go hear some music. Uh, let's see. You know what I think I'm going to sing? Because I think I can sing this. I think I remember all the lyrics. I'm going to sing, um, I'm going to sing, um, what is the name of that song? <laughs> I can't remember the name of the song. Well, anyway, that's what I'm going to sing. Uh, see, I can't even tell you. Okay. Okay. All right. Let me start it over and let me get my shades on because that messed me up last week not having my shades on. Okay. See what we can do with this. Yesterday I had a dream I could fly through the sky Then I woke up in a sweat not dead yet, but on the ground. I'm up in Johnson City, Tennessee, looking for the way in me. Lord, fly me over, punch a train, back to the land of sugar cane. And summer rain A little mm. Nevermore Shall we part Nevermore Shall we part Little girl was early told that life was gone and time was gold. She took a little every day till it went away and she was old. And she cried cause her gold was gone. And she cried cause she was all alone And I'm hunting with a lonely heart And never more shall we part Shall we part Never more Shall we part? Never more. Shall we part? 
Oh, there you go. <laughs> I, I remember the I remember the lyrics of that song because I know the song very well. I remember the I remember the lyrics of that song. I mean, I know that song very well, but anyway. But oh, I missed. Oh, good. I, well, I'm sure I already missed her. But Susan, if you're still here, good night, sweetheart. Um. You never, I did that song, Diane, I did that song on my live before when I first did the video, because that's one of the videos that I have pinned up at the top. Um, it, it came from the, that movie came from the song, A Love Song for Bobby Long with John Travolta and uh, Scarlett Johansson, and I don't remember the other actors in it, but it's, a, it's one of Brad's favorite movies, and he loved that. The soundtrack of it too. Good night, Pam. Good night. Don't forget to send me the DM now. Don't forget to do that because if you do, I guarantee you I will forget. And I gotta learn that song. I gotta learn that song. Hi, Dennis. Hi, Polander. Thank you, Pam. Thank you, sweetheart. And I will send you the video when I do it on Tuesday. Hi, Chip Busick. Hi, Chip. Thank you for joining us. But um, let me look on my list here. But I also need to go over to my Aunt Iva's tomorrow. I, gotta, I t wasn't going to let Iva try to press Walter's shirt, you know, for the wedding. And, and Diane, I didn't even think about that. I'm not going to the wedding. I was helping them all get their clothes together for it. But yeah, I'm one step removed you know, I'm one, I'm one relation too far down the line to have an invitation. Because <laughs> he, Trey, who's getting married, is my second cousin. It's my and Iva's grandson that's getting married. Um, but, yeah, I got to go over to Iva's, take Walter his shirt and tie, because I was not going to entrust ironing that to her. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah. But the wedding is... Not this weekend, but the following weekend. So I'm going to be gone, and I was going to do my Aunt Iva's makeup. So what I'm going to do is go over there tomorrow, take the makeup that I want her to use, and try to teach her to do it for herself. Um, because the makeup I use is a real light weight. You know, it's not... I just put it on so that, you know, the blush and eyeshadow doesn't cause me to get those little white heads, but it's very light. I mean, not light in color, but light in weight. Because we don't really need, she doesn't really need foundation makeup. And because, you know, her, even though she's close to 80 years old, she's, uh, what, 77, 78? Uh, I think she turned 78 this year. She was born in 1946. So what does that make her? Well, anyway, hi, Dale Gage. Um, she doesn't really, she has a beautiful complexion. She has beautiful skin. I mean, yes, we have wrinkles, but we still have kind of, the wrinkles are the flaws now. <laughs> yeah. And I, I, I'd like to say, yeah, if I look at my daughters, if I look at and Zach too, except for he's got that little beard. If I look at my daughter's complexion and their skin, that, that's what mine looked like before I had wrinkles. <laughs> Hi, Samuel Gibson. I know somebody named Scott Gibson. I don't know what his brother, he had a little brother, I think, I don't remember. Hi, John Matea. But anyway, so I'm going to have to try to teach her to do this. And it's not much. I'm just putting a little foundation. I'm not having her put blush on because I know that'll get messed up. And then I've got some, you know, kind of little hint of brown eyeshadows for her to put on. I think she can handle it. And some mascara. That's what she has a problem with. But um, if she has a problem, and she can practice. She can practice. In fact, I may have her do that if I got time. But, um... Yeah, and I will be doing my live from Ohio. 
Don't know where in Ohio my guess is Alexis's living room in front of the trophy wall. Because that was the only wall I could think of that I was already planning in my head where I was going to do my live from. I thought I could put a chair and a table right there in that corner. And that's where I can do my live from. And then we'll have the trophies in the background. Hi, Lucas Warner. That, that's my best bet. Um, let's see. I did two Etta James songs. I did, um, what is the name of that? Something's Got a Hold on Me, I think is the name of it. And then I did the other Etta James song was Sunday Kind of Love. I only did a little piece of that song. Um, or I probably would have sang that song, but to sing something's got a hold on me, I gotta like get that oh, growl or whatever you call that, that screaming sound in my voice, and I really can't do that. I have no ability to do that. Hi, Walter Villa. Thank you for joining us. Um, but yeah, I was gonna talk about the Etta James songs and the trip and my Aunt Mildred. Um, my Aunt Mildred. As you, as I told you, Diane and Shelly and who, Jessica, I haven't told Jessica this either, even though I was on FaceTime with Jessica right before I came live. She, she talked to me while I put my makeup on. And, um, anyway, my Aunt Mildred, before she fell, fell down the stairs and broke her ankle and had to have that surgery and all of that, they already knew that she was going to have to have a heart catheterization because there's a problem. And um, so they did that this morning. She had her heart catheterization earlier today. And what they found, she did not have a blockage, didn't have to have any more stents. What they found is something that can be treated with medication. So that's good. My Aunt Mildred is 82 years old. Um, and in really good health. I mean, she's in good shape. She, she's not bouncing back real quick from this broken ankle and, 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 um, uh, surgery. And my cousin is concerned because she told me, she told me that, that, um, she, my cousin, who's an RN, she, she's a little concerned that my aunt may have had a mild heart attack, like during the surgery or, you know, in that trauma of her, you know, getting to the hospital by ambulance and everything that they did and the surgery because she's come out of that surgery way different than she went into it. And now the heart cath, I don't know this for a fact because I've never had a heart attack. I ha I've never had a heart attack that I know of. And I think they would know when they did the heart cath. I think they would be able to see the damage if she, or maybe if the damage is, you know, slight, it, it may not show up even in a heart cath. So that's what my cousin was telling me. Um, but yeah, she's got, there's something about her heart. But I, I don't, I can't remember because I was half asleep when I talked. Cause remember I slept till four this afternoon. Um, I can't remember exactly what my cousin said. It seems like she said it was something about her left ventricle is enlarged or something like that. But anyway, main point is it can be treated with medication because she had already told me if they told her she needs open heart surgery, she was not going to go that do, she was not going to do that. And she's never had open heart surgery. She's had a heart attack. She's had stents put in her heart at least twice that I can think of, but she's never had a heart attack. I mean, she's never had open heart surgery. Hi, Matt K. Hi there. Yeah, the invention of the catheter and the, the stent has saved all of I, I I would not even be here if it weren't for that. You know, I had in 2014, I had an artery that was 100% blocked. And I had a stent put in. I wouldn't even be here if that, if I, that didn't exist. But yeah, my Aunt Mildred is doing better in, in a sense. She's doing better, but 
I'm looking for, hi Luke, I'm looking forward to going and staying with her for, she wants me to come stay with her for a couple of weeks after I get my heart catheterization done and everything because, you know, I had all this other stuff that I needed to, you know, that I had planned and, you know, and then the heart catheterization. So I could, and, you know, I quarantined for COVID for 10 days and then still hadn't been feeling well. So I hadn't gone, my Aunt Mildred lives at Lake Cumberland. I hadn't gone down and stayed with her for any at all. I hadn't even gone and seen her because I just wasn't up to it. And I'm not comfortable I'm not comfortable going down there because they live 30 miles. They live in BFE. They, they live 30 miles from the closest hospital. Not only do they live 30 miles from the closest hospital, they live 35 miles or 30 miles from one of the worst hospitals in the country. Worst rating. Um, when I've read the reviews of that hospital, if you go in there to have surgery, you are about equal 50-50 chance that you'll leave the hospital. And, I mean, that's where my aunt just had her catheterization, but that's, I, I don't want to be that far from, which would put me two and a half hours from my hospital that I need to go to where my doctor is if I had a problem. I don't want to be down there if I have a problem. Hi, Brick Instructor. Thank you for joining us. Um, but, so we have that. Yeah, and I just read on Facebook, one of my high school friends just published a book, and oddly enough, I didn't write the title down. I, I can't remember what the title was. It was some, it, I think it might be a cookbook or something. I think it might be a cookbook. I'm not sure. But, um, but anyway, I, I, I would not have imagined him writing a book. I mean, he was a very good friend of mine for a long time and I'm friends with him on Facebook. But, um, yeah, I, I couldn't picture that. But, and what it reminded me of is I thought I should sing the song I'm Walking on Sunshine because I, I say that all the time. I went to school with Katrina and I can never remember her last name. It's some big, long Polish name, but Katrina from Katrina and the Waves. I went to high school with her in Stuttgart. <laughs> Hi, Austin. Thank you for joining us. And how's it going with the hurricane, Diane? I haven't looked at the weather channel or anything. My friend Karen is kind of keeping me up abreast of it, but I haven't looked at anything today. Where are you in relation to the hurricane? Because again, I know where you are. Hi, T.W. Sanford. I know where you are, but I don't know where the hurricane is. I don't know where it's coming in because I haven't looked at it. And you would think I would have, I was going to do it actually before I came on my live. But, you know, I didn't wake up until four in the afternoon. Hi, Sandy Flynn. Thank you for joining us. Is Jessica still here? I was hoping Jessica would stay with us tonight. No. Nope. Hi there, Aiklin William. Hi, William Aiklin. Thank you for joining us. But, um, hi, Jaja. -Ja. Thank you. Ja Ja. Excuse me. As soon as I saw that, I was like, wait, that's Ja Ja. Thank you for joining us. And um, hi, Uncle Matt, 58. Thank you. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Good for you, anyway. Good for you. On the others. Okay, Diane. So tell me, I'll look at them. Never mind. I'm not going to ask you that. I can look that up for myself when I get off of here. I need to investigate where that hurricane or, you know, where the hurricane is. Um, oh, I showed you the camera spinner. Talked about my Aunt Mildred. And I just mentioned my high school friend has published a book, even though I didn't write down the title of the book, which would have been nice. Ah, oh, it's Jaw. You're telling me it's Jaw Jaw? 
It is Jaja, not Jaja. No, Jaja is Z A Z. What is it? I don't know. Yes, Jaja. Excuse me. Yeah, I I don't even know how to read anymore. I swear I don't. Jaja is spelled with a Z, isn't it, Diane? Is it like Jaja Gabor? Isn't that spelled with a, a Z? <laughs> That's what I thought. Z-S-A. There we go. Yeah, exactly, Jaw Jaw. I am sorry. I I I was confused, <laughs> as I often am. But, yeah, and I was going to mention the Smurfette while she was here. She was the mean one. Yeah, I liked, I don't, I loved Ava Kabor. I loved Ava Kabor, but I also liked Jaw Jaw. And I brilliance revealed. Thank you for joining us. Do people often confuse Jaw Jaw with Jaw Jaw? <laughs> if I would have thought for a minute, I would have known that Jaw Jaw is not spelled with a J. And but I went through everything that I made on my last one minute list. And um Audrey Hepburn, love Audrey Hepburn. Absolutely love Audrey Hepburn. H Hepburn. You know, she was in I love breakfast at Tiffany's, you know, but, um, she was also really, she was, wasn't she in the diary of Anna Frank or Anne Frank? My favorite, yeah, that's Audrey Hepburn. My favorite ver story, uh, movie made from diary of Anne Frank has got, um, Audrey Hepburn in it. And, um, Oh, really? Zsa uh, Zsa was mean. Yeah, <laughs> I, I know that. I know, but I still liked her. Hi, Colleen Conley. Um, another movie that Audrey Hepburn did when she, when she was older, that's one of my dear movies. I don't think it's a particularly great movie, but it's a movie that I kind of, it's endearing to me, is Always, with Richard Dreyfuss and Holly Hunter and John Goodman. And um, Audrey Hepburn is in that movie. In fact, she plays God in that movie. I love that movie. I, I can't watch it, but I love it. Hi, Jim Andrews. Thank you for joining us. And DJ Dave, thank you. And um, Diane, I was, there's hardly anybody here but us. Yeah, all great actors. If you haven't seen the movie Always, it, it's a good movie. It is a good movie, a very sweet movie. Very near and dear to me because of the subject matter. Hello there, sweetie. Hello there, DJ Dave. Yeah, buy the DVD on Amazon. Or um, you can probably find it. Just Google it and it'll tell you what streaming service it's on. I have it on iTunes is where I... Because I have a lot of movies like that that I want to be able to watch whenever I want to watch them. I have them purchased on iTunes so that I can watch them anytime. Hello there, DJ Dave. Hi, Jeff Muir. DJ J Dave, did your name used to be Music Man? Because your profile picture looks like Music Man. And I never noticed that he changed his name before. Yeah, you can buy the DVD. I don't even, I don't own a DVD player. I have some, few DVDs that I kept, but not many. Hi, Maverick Juarez. Thank you for, what is that, Mav or BB, for for joining us. And, um, yeah, Diane, since there's not very many people here, um, I'm sorry that I, that I sent you, remember I sent you that video that I did. Oh, they made a movie about you. What What's the movie about you, Crocodile? Um, I'm sorry that I kind of did that. I, I alluded to it last week. Oh, I don't know. I've not seen a movie called A Good Person. I do love Morgan Freeman. I've never seen a Morgan Freeman movie that I didn't like. But now some of those action movies that he was in, I'm not crazy about those kind of movies. Hi, Jamie Lynn. Thank you for joining us. Black Hawk Down. Now, I have seen, I actually have seen Black Hawk Down years when it came out. 
I saw Black Hawk down. Hi, Casey Long Dog. That's very interesting. That is a really good movie. Um, but um, I, what am I talking about? Oh, yeah. I wasn't going to spring that on you like I did, Diane, you know, when I sent you the video and said in case you haven't already figured this out. I was going to tell you last week on my live, but I had not talked about it with Junior yet. You know, I had not talked about me doing that yet, and I didn't want to do that until him and I had discussed it. And um, he, the reason, and he was here last week, and I said something, but he had company, and he was kind of half listening to me and half listening to his company, so he didn't hear me whenever I said the, the person responsible for this can, can, you know, tell people why I'm so giddy, and he didn't respond, so I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything because he didn't respond. He never heard me say that because when I talked to him about it, he, he never heard me say it. He had his cousin or somebody, nephew, I think, had come in, while he was watching the live, so he was kind of distracted. But anyway, he said he doesn't care what I say, as we knew. As I knew he would, but I'm still not, you know, I'm not going to do that without saying something. And and um, I, I do, it, it just happened. You know what I mean? It wasn't something, because him and I have been talking on the phone and been friends for a year and a half now. And then we both kind of came to it, I think, I don't know, I think he came to it before I did, or he recognized it before I did. And other, people had been saying it to him. People had been asking him that question. I only had one person ask me that question. People weren't asking me that, um, but they were asking him that. And, you know, but anyway, but it's all good. <laughs> Neither one of us is leaving our home <laughs> as it stands right now. I'm staying in Kentucky and he's staying where in Louisiana and we'll do what we do. But yeah, we, we haven't, we haven't, that hasn't become important to us, you know? And we don't really talk to each other any differently than we did when we were just friends. We're still just friends, really. Because <laughs> we always said, I love you. We always said that. I, what I picked out is the difference is we didn't call each other baby before. Because <laughs> that was actually the video that kind of made us both stop and think. And, um, but please don't call me baby unless you mean it. Um, when I was doing that song, and I know he doesn't care if I tell these stories. When I was doing that song, I was sitting there and I'm like, he is singing that song to me. And I, and I've thought that before with songs and it's true, but with that one, it's like, and I am singing that song to him. <laughs> you know, I, I knew it. I absolutely knew it. And there was other songs that I've done that I knew I was singing to him. But, you know, I was kind of in denial, Diane. It doesn't sound like me. This doesn't sound like me. To be involved with somebody, you know, you know how old he is. That That's not really my... That, that is that is not me. That is not something I would do. But apparently I did. <laughs> and didn't even know it. And but yeah, so it's it's and and he's he's just he is so good to me. He is absolutely wonderful to me. And and always has been. But now it's even, you know, I don't have whose accent. Wait a minute. 
whose accent do I not have? What, what do you mean? Crocodile. Who's, hi, Danielle. I don't have whose accent. Well, I will tell you, I was born in Kentucky. I was raised in Texas, and then I've lived all over. And I don't like to say all over the world because I've, I've lived in, I've, the only place outside the United States I've lived is in Germany. I traveled, I traveled all over, but I didn't live there. Mount Sterling. I, Mount Sterling. Are you talking about Mount Sterling, Kentucky? Yeah, I know Mount Sterling, Kentucky. I don't know exactly where it is, but I, I've heard that name before. Hi, Eric Thomas. I'm supposed to say ever, ever. I don't know why I'm saying that. <laughs> Hi, bad boy. Hi, John. I, I don't know. I don't know what you mean. I don't have whose accent. I don't. Well, anyway, whatever. Oh, are you talking? Are you talking about when I sang the song? I don't know what you're talking about. Hi, William Hairstrom. Straight E. <laughs> Hello there, Jeffrey Miller. Thank you for joining us. And William Hairston. Hairston. That sounds right. Um, but yeah. I'm. I am feeling pretty good, like West Virginia. Now I don't talk like people. I don't even actually talk. Gracie with the hair. Oh, thank you, Ben. Thank you. It is, it, I will tell you, my hair is blonde by choice. <laughs> that is a choice that I have made. <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, I don't understand. I'm supposed to say ever. Oh, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't talk like people who live here. I don't pronounce words the same. I don't, I do have, a, I, I have a little bit of a, a accent to when I talk, and that comes from Kentucky. But they talk faster here. I, and I, because of me growing up in Texas, I got that drawl in there that I drag things out a little bit more than they, more so than they do here. Now, right now, I'm kind of talking fast. I think I'm a little wound up. Um, probably because I got so much sleep. <laughs> You're going to give me a help from London. Oh, from K London. There is a London, Kentucky. There is a London, Kentucky. Um, hi, Tina Davis and Hulk Hogan. I think I actually know somebody named Tina Davis. Who do I know named Tina Davis? Hi, Eagle One. Thank you for joining us, an Apple user. Hero. You're going to give me a hero from London. Hmm, I don't know what that means. Hi, Black Wolf. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. But, um, I can't. Oh, my Aunt Jackie. Did I not even write this down? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. I probably wrote it somewhere else. Because I ran out of index cards, as I mentioned. And I will tell you, Diane, when I talk to Junior on the phone, I have it. I have my index cards with my notes. <laughs> I make notes to prepare for my phone conversations too. <laughs> SFC Lance Scott Cornett, and you were in. You know SFOD D doesn't. My dad was career military, so I, I lived in the military till I was eighteen years old. He was in the military twenty four years. But I, I don't know what SFOD means. Yeah, I do because Diane, and I know he wouldn't, he does not care, but we have this little arrangement that we talk every Sunday morning. That's when we talk for hours and hours and hours and hours. And um, that's the only day he has off work. So that we, sometimes he has Saturday off. But anyway. Um, so I talked to him on the phone. I mean, we talked to each other on TikTok, you know, and DM and text and that stuff. But I, 
am only going to talk to him usually once a week. So I, I, I have to write things down that I want to tell him about or I'll forget. And he, he laughs at me for that. <laughs> and I'm saying this because, Diane, there's really nobody else here but us. <laughs> Not many people. There's a few other people, but they don't know what I'm talking about anyway. But, um, yeah. Delta Force. Okay. See, I'm, I know what Delta Force is. I know what Delta Force is, Crocodile. But yeah, I didn't know that's what that meant. Oh, you just didn't want to come right out and say Delta Force. I got you. I got you. That, yeah. My dad, I will tell you, Delta Force, thank you, or, or Crocodile, thank you for your service. And um, my dad was in 31st MP Battalion. He was in Korea twice and Vietnam once. So I appreciate your service. Hi, Howie. Thank you for joining us. And I'm sorry, I should have said that earlier. I just wasn't thinking. I'm a little distracted. Um, but yeah, Diane, I'm... <laughs> In case you can't tell, I am very happy and just calm. <laughs> I just, you know, how I used to fret all the time and how I was, like my Aunt Jackie said, kept me tore up all the time. Yeah, I'm not. I, I'm very calm and happy. <laughs> and don't care. <laughs> You know, it's, everything is whatever. It's fine. <laughs> I was, I did want to mention while uh, Smurf, thank you, Crocodile. I did want to mention while Smurfette was here and I forgot. And plus I gave the box that the oil came in, which I don't even remember the, yeah, I know, I am. I am. I'm just enjoying it. I've told my Aunt Ivan, my, they know about him. They've heard me talk about him. I talk about him all the time. I talk about him all the time. I've done that for probably a year or longer. Because we started talking to each other a year ago. It's when we met. and Or a year and a half ago, I'm sorry. But So they've heard about him, and then I had to tell them. I didn't have to, but I did. I told my Aunt Ivan Uncle Walter first. And um, they're all good. And then I told Jessica and Alexis. I actually probably told them first. I told my Aunt Mildred and my cousin Rhonda and my Aunt Jackie. And the only person that really said anything even remotely negative was Zach's like, really, Mom? And he was very sarcastic, so I'm not going to really say what he said. He, 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 he Pretty much he said we did not match. He was saying that if you see me and see him, these are not two people that you would put together, <laughs> is what Zach was saying. I'm like, well, we may not match. It's like, no, our clothes don't match, or we may not, that may not match. That may not match, but we are so much alike, and I think you probably have seen that, Diane. We are a lot alike. Now, what are we talking about here? I'm getting a little concerned. Like uh, you lady, real person and just real. Oh, yeah. And I'm kind of real. Yeah, I am. I am what I am. <laughs> My pillows make have flashbacks. Like what you're saying, I'm from Georgia, 60 years old. Good to meet you, Michael. Good to meet you. My my cousin lives in Atlanta. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really great. We and it's you know both of us are very independent. You know that no but can't nobody tell me nothing. <laughs> that that's we're both very independent. We both are perfectly fine living by our, you know, being alone, alone, as they say. Um, we're both fine being alone. 
I mean, he has his two daughters there with him most of the time. And, um, yeah, we, we both, <laughs> we, we both are like that. And for whatever reason, we just click. It, it, it's, and always have from Diane, the first time I ever talked to him on the phone a year and a half ago, and we didn't even know each other. There was a special circumstance for that. Um, we didn't even know each other. We were on the phone for five hours. <laughs> so I think there might have, we, we had definitely had a connection. And I always told him that, that we're kindred spirits. That, that's the connection. We're kindred spirits. You're in the hills of North Georgia. I don't really know Georgia. Only place I've ever been is in, uh, Atlanta. Um, I know, Diane. Oh, he could never put the pillows back right. Yeah, I know exactly where these pillows go. <laughs> yeah, it is. And that's, you know, that's why I said I clipped that out, actually. I don't know if I sent that to you or not, but I clipped it out where on last week's live where I was saying, because it, 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 it was kind of an epiphany to me. Because, you know, the other experience that I had for three years. And, um... It was so funny to me because I was not fretting. Number one, I'm not carrying my phone around, like hanging on to my phone for dear life, thinking that he could call anytime, even though what's his, you know, who never called. Um, I didn't want to miss that call when he called. Well, I don't have to do that. Our, our, our call is scheduled. <laughs> Unless one of us needs to call the other, you know, during the week for some reason and, you know, I, I will admit that I, I uh, use something for an excuse to make a phone call Friday <laughs> or or whatever day it was. I don't remember what day it was. It may have been Wednesday. I don't remember. But anyway. Oh, you're 30 minutes south of Chattanooga, Tennessee. Well, I will tell you that means south, west, north. That, that doesn't mean a whole lot to me because <laughs> I don't know where Chattanooga is. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm directionally challenged, but, um, yeah. And I, I noticed, I remember thinking of that on my live last week. Wait a minute. I am not fretting about this at all. Not fretting at all about it. And, you know, and, and we're both very independent. So this, you know, neither one of us needs somebody under our feet every minute. <laughs> Oh, my God. Hi, Kurt Smith. Oh, Diane. Then after I made the ribs, I made, um, I got Baby Bella's. I got Baby Bella's, and what else was in there? Baby Bella's onion, and my Aunt Iva gave me green peppers from her garden. I think that's it. Baby Bella's, oh, a little bit of garlic and Worcestershire and olive oil. And I sauteed those vegetables together with the mushrooms. And that's what I ate last night. And I have enough to eat left over to eat tonight. So that, that, and there's a little bit of carbs in that. It. Oh, okay. I, I hear you, Michael. Garden veggies are the best. Well, you know, I did have, hi, hi, Anita. Hi Anita. Anita must have joined us again. Hi Anita. Am I am I why am I calling her Anita? Her name is Annette. Jeez, I am so sorry, Annette. I don't know what's wrong with me. Hi there, user 8824. Yes, I am you. Hi, Chuck. Um, but um, yeah, I had some garden vegetables. Oh, you mean garden from the garden, not the name on the frozen vegetable package that's called garden. What was locked? Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Annette. No, what's wrong with me? Um, it was locked, man. I don't know what that means. Hi, Chuck. Hi, Chuck. Thank you for stopping by and user 8824. But yeah, I 
I did have some frozen vegetables that I was going to throw in there with that. Um, and I was originally, user, when I get time, what? I, I don't know what that means. Um, hi, Kappa. What is that? When I get time? I, I don't know. Anyway. Um, hi, Jimmy. Hi, Jimmy. You got to look up something. No idea. Um, anyway, um, I was going to put that, those frozen vegetables in with that and, you know, have a little bit more than just mushrooms and, and onions and hello, I'm just fine, Jimmy. And JPT1, I don't know what JPT means, but anyway, hi, Juan. Um, but then it was so much because I had two packages of baby Bellas that I had to cook. I mean, I can't leave them sitting around. What is that? Um, oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, Junior and I do a lot of videos together. In fact, I figured it out. We have done 75 videos together. Um, we average about one a week. <laughs> I think last week we had more, though. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, I got you. I got you, Crocodile. Yeah, that's absolutely how it works. Is Yeah, Diane, we've averaged one. And I, that's only the duets that I've done with him. That doesn't count the duets that he's done with me. Now, some of the duets that I've, some of the duets that I've done are actually me pulling his duets. You know how I do that all the time pulling his duets into my page. So some of them you can count as his videos, but I don't always do that with his duets. I only do that if I look, it looks like I can do something with them. Now that Portland, Oregon, you know, with Loretta Lynn and Jack Black, the one where he's kind of dressed up and he's playing the guitar and um, looking very handsome, I might say. Um, that's actually a duet on his page also because that was Trudy's idea. And so I did the video first, then he did his half. He did his part by himself and sent it to me and then I put it together. Well, whatever. It's on both our pages. But yeah, that that's, yeah, that's how it is, isn't it? That's exactly how it is, Michael. It's like, that's what I was saying on my life. When you meet your person, because I did the song Stand By Me, so I said, you know, you, you need to be standing by the right man or the right person because somebody that makes you nervous or makes you fret all the time, kind of like how I was, that should be, I just never knew that before, you know, I just don't have enough experience getting into a relationship that I knew that. I didn't know that. And I've never been in a relationship with somebody that's not right in front of me. So I, I didn't know that. I didn't know that if somebody makes you nervous and makes you fret, that is not your person. You look for that person that calms you and makes you feel safe and secure. That's who you look for. Oh, I am so sorry, Michael. I am so sorry, Michael. I am so sorry. Because I lost my significant other, who I had been with, whom I had been with for 15 years. I lost him 15 years ago. And I've been by myself ever since. And it is hard. A year in... Mm, that's, that's tough, Michael. That is, t a year in is, a year in is actually worse than when it first happened. Because when it first happens, you're, you're in shock. You're, you're in shock. Okay, I'm telling you my experience. I don't know that everybody has the same experience, but it's, I think it's pretty similar for everybody. Um, you're in shock. You know, and like the second Christmas and the second birthday and all of those things are actually way harder because you're fully aware. 
and your pain, you feel your pain more because you're not still in shock. You're a little numbed from the shock. Or, and I'm making that generally because generally that it, when you lose your spouse in particular, it's hard with anybody, but your spouse is, that is the hardest loss because you're so connected to that person. Okay, so it wasn't, it wasn't, um, so it wasn't, it wasn't a shock, you know, and I, I don't know that it matters. Hi, Applejack, but, you know, I have heard that it's a little easier or a little easier to take in if the person doesn't die suddenly, you know, if, if the person, but I don't know that. I, I haven't, I've experienced that with my mom, with my dad, and with other family members where it wasn't sudden or unexpected. And it's different, but it's, it would be different anyway, because that's my mom and dad. That's not my spouse. Hi, Roger Hackworth. But yeah, that's that's a hard change. I, I would, Michael, I would suggest to you Oh, you're talking about the vaccines. Oh, you lost your husband. Queen B. Yeah, that's how I am. I've been married one time and I had four children with my husband that I was married to for 12 years. And then, um, my husband was an abuse, was an abuser and a addict, not in the big, not, I don't want to say that for 12 years. He was not that for 12 years, but he became that later in our marriage. And it, it was really bad. And, um, and then I was in a relationship after that, that I was in for 16 years, but I was there and that was, he passed away 15 years ago. And oddly enough, my ex-husband actually passed away about 13 and a half years ago because he, he Pat, my ex-husband passed away 18 months at 46 years old. He, he passed away 18 months after my significant other did. So they both died in their 40s. Here we go with again. Uh, Diane, did you guys not block this person last week? Maybe you just muted him. So we need to block him because now they're back. It's the same person. Well, maybe Diane and Shelly are gone. I'm not sure. So I will do this myself. We will take care of this myself. Block. There we go. So, well, I, I know what I forgot to do. Yeah, forgot. Okay. I need to mute. Mute. And then I need to. Then I need to block. Confirm. There we go. All done. <laughs> oh, you were married two times. Yeah. Yeah. Hi there, Richard from Richard Gooch from Orlando, Florida, and Jeremy Fizzle. Um, yeah, yeah, Annette, Annette, it is, it is tough, but you know, I now when my significant other. And I always call him my husband because we were together for 16 years. It's just I never wanted to be married again. That's why we didn't get married. Um, and, you know, I do say that I am kind of like that. A piece of paper doesn't really <laughs> mean anything to me. Um, but, you know, my, my children were grown when he passed away. And... Um, and 
So, uh, you know, I wasn't left with young children at home or anything like that. But I have been by myself for 15 years. I, I've never even gone on a date in 15 years. I, I, it's like, I didn't, doesn't, not really, never met anybody that really was appealing to me. And it's not that I haven't met, a, I've met a lot of people. You know, I've, in that 15 years, I've met many people, and I, I mean, met in daily life. And um, just until now, haven't really found anybody that I kind of hit it off with. And if it happens to be that I met that person from TikTok, well, good for TikTok. <laughs> but yeah. I've been married once. Hello there, Brian. Hello there, sweetie. I haven't seen any of your videos lately. But again, oh, thank you. They're just like little, sort of like ballet slipper things. Oh, I didn't like, you should make them like this, actually. Well, anyway. Um, hi, Splen Splendid Us. Splendid Us. Splendid Us. Splendid Us. I get it. I think, <laughs> but, um, yeah, hi, Brian, so good to see you, hi, Bill, hi, Bill, Bill, hi, Edwin, hi, Edwin Lopez and EC, thank you for joining me in Market Province, you've known, a, you have a friend you've known for 45 years and she lost, there you go, there you go, there you go. Michael, see, I never, I, I had friends. I mean, I've, I've always had male friends. Most of my friends have always been men. Even, you know, when I was in a relationship, I've just, you know, I was a tomboy when I was growing up and just always got along with men as a rule. I always got along with men better than I did women. So, Oh, you've got a bunch always behind on here lately. Yeah, Brian, me too. Thank you, Edwin. That's very sweet. Um, but yeah, you, you don't meet, and, and you're so lucky to have somebody that you've known for all of those years. Michael, you're so lucky because you have a connection with her and that, you know, you have a history with her and that's, and you both know, you know, that you've lost your love. You've lost your love, and, and it's really great to have somebody like that. I am so glad for you. I really am. And, I mean, I had lots of people. You know, I have a big family. And I had lots of, and I have my children. My four children were grown. And you have them, but it's not the same. I mean, it isn't the same as having a love, you know. And, I, I mean... You know, that love connection. I hate that because there was a TV show called that. But that's what it is. Having that kind of connection with somebody. You know, it's funny because you can go for a long, long time, kind of like I did, and, and not even know that you, you get to the point where you don't even realize that you're missing something until you find it. And when you find it, you, you realize, wow, I was missing a lot. Because I always said, I never got my joy back. I never got my joy back. It's, it's what I, you know, that's what I, no matter how many years went by, I just, nothing gave me joy. And hi, Javier. Hi, Javier Perez. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, see, that's, that's tough, too, Michael. You know, I, I've not, the closest thing I've experienced to that was when my dad got sick, but it was quick. It, it wasn't months or years. It, it was pretty quick. Um, and I, you know, went with my dad and stayed at, took my dad to doctor's appointments and stayed and, um, with him at the hospital and, 
Yeah, it, it, and that that only lasted a few weeks. I mean, my dad, we found out we we hadn't even he'd already passed away before the 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 biopsy results were back, actually saying what kind of lung cancer he had. He'd already passed away before we got those results. But yeah, and now that person that you have that has taken every waking moment. You know, especially if that's your spouse and you're doing the caregiving, that person is taking every waking moment because my dad was like that. When he had taken care of my mom for 20 years. He had waited on her hand and foot for 20 years. When my mom was gone, and I mean, my mom and dad, you know, they had been married 55 years and they were still as much in love at, at that point as they were in the beginning. And yeah, my dad, there he was now by himself. And he didn't even sleep half the time because he couldn't sleep during the day. He had to sleep at night. Well, my mom got her schedule backed up. So he couldn't sleep at all because he couldn't sleep while she was awake at night. And he couldn't sleep during the day. So that, that really got him messed up for a while. Yeah, I don't. I, I'm just now starting to sleep. I'm starting to sleep, Michael. And um, yeah, I was always like that about the sleep, though. I was always like that about the sleep. I, I've always been bad about not sleeping. My son says it's because I'm afraid I'll miss something. <laughs> Yeah. Good night, Michael. Good night, and thank you for coming. And we are here every Thursday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you come back anytime. Glad to have you here. Glad to have you. Very nice talking to you. Very nice. Thank you for coming. Hi, Jerry Mezer Smith, and I'm going to go ahead and go because I stay on till 9 p.m., even though I think my moderators are gone. Um, oh, actually, they're not. Diane, I thought you had already gone. Sorry about that. I went ahead and took care of somebody by myself. <laughs> Did we get rid of that person last week that said that same thing? Or maybe they just made it another account. I don't know. But anyway, I blocked, I muted and blocked them this time. Hi, GTS. Oh, GT Scorpio. Thank you for joining us. And um, I'm here every Thursday night at 7.30 p.m. And, um, hi, Michael Kovliak, but I am going to go, Diane, and let you and Shelly go. And Shelly, um, I will text you when I get, I'm going to get to Alexis's sometime Saturday afternoon. Alexis and Michael, bye, Brian. Bye, Brian. Yeah, I know they do that. I, I don't care. We just get rid of them. It doesn't matter. Hi, big ragas. We don't spend a whole lot of time worrying about them, do we, Diane? <laughs> It doesn't take much. We don't need to contemplate for very long who's got to go. <laughs> Have a great night too, Brian and, and Big Ragu. Thank you. But um, I will be in touch with you, Shelly, because surely to goodness that whole week that I'm there. Um, and Shelly, I'll tell you this later, but I, I was going to remind me that I want to tell you something about Minky. Um because I'm actually thinking about, you know, because you said you would take Minky, and I'm actually, and I don't read any more into that than what I'm saying. I'm actually thinking because I, it's like the poor thing. I mean, she's fine. You know, she still takes whatever attention she can get, but I'm just afraid, depending on what I find out with Whenever I get the catheterization, they haven't even scheduled it yet. It's supposed to be scheduled on the 20th, but I don't see it on my chart, and I'm going to call them tomorrow about it. But anyway, um, if you're willing or able to take her sooner, then I'm not, and I don't mean like right now or in six months or anything like that, but um, then I may, I may, if I can, I don't know if I can do that, but if I can, I may give her to you sooner because she doesn't get, you know, she was used to 
having constant attention. And, you know, when I'm, I, mm, I don't like her to be in my bed with me and I'm spending more time in bed and I don't like her to be in there because, you know, she poops on my sheets and my comforter and I, I don't like that. So I don't let her be in there with me and that's why she's not getting as much attention as she usually does because used to, she had to run to the house. She went where she pleased and usually stayed with but even still, saying that, she was usually right on top of me. She, that's where she, that was her preference. In fact, she would rather be on my shoulder than to eat, if you give her the choice. She'll get on my shoulder instead of eating. But anyway, good evening, Dave Bobo. Hello there. And um, there's no way I can pronounce your name. I apologize. Hello there from Hong Kong. You're stationed here, United States Marine, 63rd Airborne. I don't know 63rd Airborne Division. I know 82nd Airborne, but I don't know 63rd Airborne. That sort of sounds made up to me. Um, yeah, yeah, I am busy, actually. I'm very busy. Um, hi, Danib, and no name needed. Um, anyway, I am going to go. Um, and Shelly, Diane, thank y'all so much for staying with me. And again, I will be live from Ohio. And Shelly, we will get together. We'll discuss the minky situation, what, I, what I'm trying to say. Um, but love y'all. And like I always say, like I always say, I want this to be your favorite TT show every Thursday night. So I'll see you same, next week. Same time, same station. Love y'all. Bye, Diane. Bye, Shelly. Bye.